You look like that? You ever ate chicken burnt like that? <laughs> so chicken gotta be black when it's burnt, right? So anything that you burn is gonna be black. Even if you take a white shirt and burn it, it's black. So this is definitely a false image. We just use this image to show you. Now check this out. Look at the hat trick. They do this in hockey, right? It's called a hat trick. Hold it to me. Check that out. That's not the same brother? Same person. All they did was take the hat off. You ready, bro? Alright. Uh, there, yeah, yeah, you can put that back on. You see that? 14. So 14 and 12, right? Let's read that. Oh. Let's go, right? You can see it, right? Alright. Yeah, read that for me. For the devising of idols, Mr. Mr. Masalam in chapter 14. Verse 12, for the, for the, the rising of the idols was the beginning of spiritual, for, spiritual fornication. So the devising of idols was the beginning of spiritual fornication. Um, some of these words is, is different, right? Um, um, you ever read it before or no? Oh, okay, okay. All right, keep going. Just read a little louder. And the invention of them, the corruption of life, 13, was neither were they formed from the beginning. So these things were not from the beginning, read. Neither shall they be forever. Listen, listen. So this image is not gonna last forever. This image is not gonna last forever, read. Okay. You ain't grown. But by the vain glory of men, they enter, enter, enter so into the world. And therefore me. shall they come shortly to an end. For a father afflicted with grief, mourning, when he had made the image of his child soon, Taken away. So this image right here that we have, the, yeah, the picture that you see in the middle of that image, this is this is the, the sixth Pope of Rome, his son, Caesar Bogia, a father afflicted with grief because the Bogia's son died, but he killed him. He was afflicted with grief. Uh, what do you do? Read that part again. Soon taken away. He made a what? This image of his child of his child soon taken away. So he made an image of his son soon taken away. And they what? Now honor him as a as a god. Honor him as who? As a god. Honor him as a god. That's where you get the Jesus is God doctrine. Because this guy took this guy and made his son the image of Christ, even though the image of Christ in the Bible does not line up with this. White woolly hair, feet like brass, burned in a furnace. This is not Christ. So this this is not my Jesus at all. This is a symbol for me. This is one of the biggest symbols of slavery ever. The fact that they tell you it don't matter what color Christ is, and then paint them white. Yeah, you know, brother, it don't matter what color you are. Well, as, just as long as you believe Christ is white, you know that's your Jesus. That's not my Jesus, man. That's not my Christ. As a matter of fact, the name Jesus is a Greek name. There are no J's or E's or U's in Hebrew, so his father would have not called him Jesus or Jesus. In the Hebrew, Christ's name directly translates into Yeshaya, which means Savior, Deliverer, Redeemer. So when we call on Christ, we say Yeshaya. When we call on the Most High, we call him Ahaya. That is I am, according to Exodus 3. We don't deal with Jehovah, we don't deal with Yahweh, we don't deal with uh, Jehovah Jireh, we don't deal with Jesus, we don't deal with that. We use the Hebrew. That's what we use. Because that's the only way to get in contact with the Father. Not through these names, which is not given. So these brothers started painting Leonardo da Vinci. You got the Last Supper over there. Who was, the, who was there to see the Last Supper? Think Leonardo da Vinci was there to see the Last Supper? Or Michelangelo? Or whoever painted it? Think they was there? They wasn't there. That, that's thousands of years after. When the Renaissance happened? 17? 1700s or so, right? Yeah. So Christ died. Yeah, 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 the Renaissance. Yeah, 1600s, yeah. So you know, Christ was Christ died in, um, what, 30, 30, 33 AD? 33 AD, man. He lived 33 years. They ain't hard to find out. So years after that, Jerusalem fell. We got put into 
well, we didn't go into slavery yet, but we ran into Africa. We lived there 1,200, 1,300 years. 70 AD times 13, uh, plus 1,300, that gives you 1370 AD. Around the time when the slave trade started, they started coming to the other lands. They, they came to America. They came to um, the Dominican Republic. They went over there and got everybody drunk, took their women, took their children. All that's prophesied in the Bible, too. That the Dominicans, the so-called, um, God right, bless you, sis. Bless you, sis. So, according to scripture, the Boricua Taino Indians, they was here first. They called them Indians, which just means savage when you translate the word. The Puerto Ricans, which is Ephraim. Dominican Republic is Simeon. Issachar is Mexico. There wasn't no border. There wasn't no, wasn't no, um, cities and states and none of that. There wasn't no toll booths. There wasn't no bridges. I was wasn't paying taxes and voting for presidents. It wasn't doing that. This country was formed in 1776. That's when the government of America was formed. After they killed every Indian, well, enough of them, so that they could put them on reservations on the land when they had the whole America, then they put them on reservations. They imperialized all the Latino tribes. Spain did that, gave them Spanish, and called them Spanish when they, were, when they are not Spaniards at all. So they did that. They did it to all of us. That's a curse that was put on the children of Israel. No other nation has went through that as a whole. The whole nation. Right? Where we at? Ah, right, yeah, give me back to Isaiah 13. So just to show you a little bit of history, all things can be found in the Bible. I, personally, when I was in the world four or five years ago, could never believe that I would be reading the Bible on this corner right here, that I walked up and down and shopped in those stores and sold weed on these corners and carried guns down these blocks. Going to Tropical Reflections down there. Hitting up Aaron Zora and all these other kind of places. You understand? Going into check cash and places and taking money. I had no idea to be dealing with the Bible. Everything happens in the most high time and gives us a chance. So, there comes a time when you gotta realize everything that you received here in bondage was a lie, it was a lie. Nobody discovered America. It was the people that discovered it were the first people that come. That's who discovered something. You can't discover something that somebody else knows about it. That's an American way. It's a European way. But back to the destruction the destruction of Babylon. Remember what was that? Verse 10? Let's read that. Isaiah chapter 13, verse 10. For the stars of heaven and the constellations thereof shall not give their light. So there's not going to be any lights in the skies when America starts to fall. Read. The sun shall be darkened in his going forth. And there's not going to be any sun. Evil. Read. And the moon shall not cause her light to shine. And, a, and, and the moon is not going to give back its light at all. Read on. And I will punish the world for their evil. I'm going to punish you. And I will punish the world for their evil. So the whole world is going to get punished for their evil, man. It's not just America that did wrong. When America falls, then the power will be given back to the beast. And the beast which is wrong will rule again the way that they wanted to before they got taken down and was given and dealt a grievous wound. You know. And I will cause the arrogancy of the proud to cease. And I will lay low the haughtiness of the terrible. So everybody that's proud to be an American and keeps their head up and their chin up because they're in a land of the free and they can do what they want to do, the haughtiness of them, they're going to get laid low, man. Give me verse. Give me verse 15. Verse 15. Everyone that is found shall be thrust through. Anybody found in America is going to get thrust through with a sword. The swords nowadays are guns. So they're going to start shooting people here. The army is now your police, in case you don't know. Read. And everyone that is joined unto them shall fall by the sword. Anybody joined to America, meaning you got the mark of the beast or the image of the beast in your forehead, and you following the government, you got to die. Read. Their children also shall be dashed to pieces. The children are going to be destroyed. Read. Before their eyes. Their houses shall be spoiled. And their wives ravaged. And men, the men gonna start coming into your houses and taking everything they want and having sex with your wife right in front of you. They're gonna rape your women. They're gonna take your children. That's what's gonna happen. It's gonna be worse than the Rodney King riots ever was. 
It's going to be worse than what you saw happen in the future. It's going to be worse than that. Because everybody here got to go. Everybody. So when they see the government fall and it starts to fail, you're going to see people running up in Target, taking money. Going up in the banks, robbing the banks, taking going into the vaults. It's going to be a time of tribulation in which the world has never seen, man. Matter of fact, grab me that in Matthew 24. Read on. Behold, I will stir up the means against them. I'm going to stir up who? I will stir up the means against them. I'm going to stir up the means. Anybody know who the means is today? Pass me the Bible dictionary. Go up, sir. We don't get the definition for means out of the Bible. Huh? Matthew 24. Bro, so I said I'm going to stir up the means against them. What's going on, bro? It's an Israelite family right there. <laughs> See that? Hair always come out like wool. <laughs> Hair always like wool, no matter what. That's how you know an Israelite, man. Yeah, read me the definition of means real quick. Bible dictionary, definition of Madai. A people descended from Japheth. So these people descend from Japheth. Japheth in the Old Testament was one of the three sons of Noah, Shem, Ham, Japheth. Ham is the father of the so-called Africans. Shem is the father of the Arabs, us, the Israelites, excuse me, um, and the Caucasians. Elam also, right? They come from Abraham. And Elam, which is the, the East Indians or the Pakistanis. Read on. They are, excuse me, Japheth is the Asians. Read. They occupy the same area which modern Iran does today. So they occupy the same land as modern Iran today. So the Iranians are actually from Japheth. Is more than that? Read on. And were called the Medes. And they were called who? And were called the Medes. They were called Medes. Media and Persia. So the Medes today are actually Iranians. I know that Amin Pinajab looks like an Arab and speaks like an Arab. But he is not an Arab. He is from Japheth. He is an Asian. That is why his ties with China are so tightly knit. They back him 100%. You touch Iran, we're going to destroy you. China going to run through America. It's not even going to be a fight. The women's division of the Chinese army is bigger than all of America's police force and army put together. They ain't try them. They ain't going to beat China. Even if you start to win against Iran, you will not beat China. And when China calls Russia, you will not beat those two. And then when Russia and China get together with Chavez, it's going to be a wrap here. And I don't know if they're teaching you that in the churches, but everything is not going to be all right, man. It's not. Let's go back to that. He's going to stir up who? Behold, I will stir up the Medes against them. I'm going to stir up the Iranians against you, man. Chapif. Read. Which shall now regard silver. And as for gold, they shall not delight in it. Their bows also shall dash the young men to pieces. So they're going to start shooting bows over here. What's the only thing that can reach from one land to another land? A missile. That's your modern day bows. That's bow and arrows today. Brothers put it in, they cock it back, they shoot it out. A bow. With a pointy tip. It's like an arrow. Read. Their bows also shall dash the young men to pieces. And they shall have no pity on the fruit of the womb. And you notice how Amin Dinajab don't care about nobody. Just about righteousness. I don't like, the brothers say, I don't like these brothers over here in Israel because they left black and came back white. Well, he didn't say that, but he, he agrees with that. He come to America and be like, the people in Israel today are not Jews. They are not Jews. They're not. So therefore, I have no respect for people that pretend to be another nation. How do you think Africans feel about us? We run around here calling ourselves African Americans. You think they like that? You pretending to be something you're not. Then you want to take a trip to the motherland and go over there and call yourself an African and they cut your head off for saying that you don't know what tribe you come from. You're in the wrong place to be calling yourself an African. Here is safe. You can call yourself whatever you want to here. Try going to another land and doing that. Read. And Babylon. And who? And Babylon. Uh -huh. The glory of kingdoms. The glory of what? The glory of kingdom. Don't everybody want to come to America? Everybody want to come here? Because they feel like they can be free? The glory of every kingdom is America. This is the capital of the world. 
Can't call Asia the capital of the world. Everybody not like yo, man, I can't wait.